Hi YouTube, I'm Matt and I react to comedians or comedy sketches that I've never seen before. My lullometer down here in the corner is going to count every time that I laugh out loud during this video. This time around I'm watching a best of compilation of the UK version of Whose Line Is It Anyway? Uh, this is a series that I watched when it aired in the UK and I absolutely loved it. Revenge of the Sheep Shearer then? Yeah, if that's not too much trouble. From the people who brought you sheep cutting, it's Revenge of the Sheep Shearer, a movie that takes place in the heart of the Basque country. She was a young girl with loving on her mind. He was a vicious Basque warrior who bit the testicles off sheep. No! What fresh hell is this? He was a fascistic Spanish colonel who would get his way no matter what. I want my way. See the thrilling chase through the mountains with Daisy the Wonder Sheep. <laughs> Thrill to the Basques fight for freedom as there's a punch out using paella. Take some crumbs. <laughs> See the fascistic colonel beat Daisy and everyone else within his reach with a birch rod. Ah! I told you, I'm very dangerous. Starring Deke Sleasley as the fascistic Spanish colonel. Hear him say... I love the Dutch. <laughs> Carl Nibley as Veronica. Hear her heave fretfully. I've split my pants, look. And introducing Dahlia Anderson as Daisy the Wonder Sheep. Now the sheep's hit the pan. <laughs> It's Revenge of the Sheep Shearer. No one will be seated during the last three Mouton. Coming to a theater near you. Yeah, well, I'm going to be <laughs> Well, um, um, Tony, you, Tony, you deliberately split your trousers there to not. get some cheap. <laughs> In order to get some cheap laughs, and you I get didn't. you get double points for that. Well done. <laughs> now, now we do a game called Moving People. Uh, this is uh, Colin and Ryan going to be doing this. Le leave yourself alone, Tony. Leave it. Time enough for that later. Now, <laughs> now they've got to act out a scene, but they can't move on their own. They have to be put into position by. Um... <laughs> What's happening? <Yes. laughs> That's too much for Jim. <laughs> I can't describe what I just saw. We'll <laughs> be providing the hands and arms for him. Uh, but this uh, Ryan Grigg creature will be a surgeon. And uh, Mike, you'll be what I think is called a scrub nurse helping at the operation. But where you go. Let's just put our mask on, shall we? All right. Down um, here, I'll grab mine. Um, just tie that around. Can I help you with that, doctor? If you would, please, okay, nurse. There you go. I have to say, let me say right off the bat, they will. <laughs> there can't be anything between us in the future, in case you're thinking that way. All right, if we could anesthetize the patient. There we go. Very good, doctor. There's the anesthetic. You. Anesthetic there. Thank you. Okay. It's <laughs> all righty. Just a little in the corner. I've got this bad tooth. Uh -huh. there we go. All right, let's stick our right in there. Some. Okay, very good. There we go. He's anesthetized. Okay, He's out like a light. Here, you'll want to use some gas. All right, some gas. Has anybody ever got it? No. <laughs> oh, hey. Why don't we just start exploring lightly? Here we go. All right. Here's something for you. Please, Thank you. Thank you. Let's Lamp. get down in here, okay. shall we? Here we okay, go. There, I can just there make go. a little incision Whoa. here. Seems to have some sort of. <laughs> ah! Looks like I've taken out the spleen. <laughs> That's the heart, but hey, who's the doctor here? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. My name is clean, it's a damn spleen. Okay, I'm sorry. Must be something else in here I can check out. You're going to be fine, sir. Fine. Let's get back in there. Okay. Oh, my God. Well, there's a problem. There's a problem. He's going to a Japanese restaurant. Too much sushi for this man. It's known as the flipper complex. And here, that'd be a heart. All right, let's dig back down in here. Oh, isn't that cute? Is it? Is it cute? <laughs> Let me tell you about something like this. Yes, doctor. You get a duck blowing on one of your bladders, you've got troubles, my friend. <laughs> troubles, troubles, troubles. Let me say something else. Let me take you. You're the most unattractive talk. nurse I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> oh, you're not so good at yourself. Oh, oh, well, 
I think he's empty now. <laughs> Let's just get back. Let me get you here. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> What the when the music starts, you take it up there, oh, anchor man, you. Good evening. I'm unusually thick. <laughs> <laughs> and welcome to Scary Tales, where we get behind what's actually going on in fairy tales. The Three Little Pigs, Houses, and Wolves. We have a doctor with us who's an expert on both porcine nature and lupine nature. Dr. Heath Knifniff, doctor. <laughs> Thank you very much for having me on. Well, the pig and the wolf problem goes as far back as early pig and early wolf. Actually, naturally born enemies, yet at the same time, mutually attracted to each other. This strange dance of pork and teeth, as we call it. Always... I'm afraid I'm going to have to cut you off in mid-sentence and go to the field where we have Chuck Dackley. Chuck! Yes, thanks very much, unusually. Um, uh, the person I've got with me is just someone who came along. It's the big bad wolf. Now, I understand you're terrorizing these pigs. Why? That's right. I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna huff and I'm gonna puff and I'm gonna blow them. And what's the problem? Down, down. <laughs> well, I just need a couple of minutes alone with the big bad wolf. And so, uh, back to you, unusually. Thank you, Chuck. <laughs> Doctor, the wolf seems to be a stranger type of wolf. Not as menacing, not as aggressive. A caring, sharing wolf for the 90s. Yes, he's a wolf whose teeth have been blunted by the major economic policies of the United States. <laughs> However, nonetheless, he's a bloodthirsty son of a bitch. However loose he may seem. I'm afraid I'm going to have to cut you off, even though you weren't talking. <laughs> Chuck Duckley is out in the field with someone else. Chuck! Thanks, unusually. I've got someone with me now. We haven't been introduced. Who are you? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm covering the Little Red Riding Hood story. Oh. <laughs> um, thank you, Gary. Thank you for that. Will you excuse me, Your Grace? <laughs> Hello. Do come in. Are you looking at me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> are you acting, looking at acting me? <laughs> Yes, that was the idea. Would you like something to eat? Are you hungry? Are you talking to me, lad, eh? <laughs> Watch yourself, matey. Right now, you go and help yourself. <laughs> you eat it. So, I'll just, while you help yourself with some guacamole, I'll, um... Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Can I... <laughs> Can I do something to drink? <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to look after him while I just go and get the doorbell that's about okay, to ring? Okay, then. Good Lord. Come in. Do come in. Hello. <laughs> fire! Fire! <laughs> Steve, you're looking lost. Well, no, it just reminded me of a party I was at last week. <laughs> Are you, What's are you a that queen? Said about a queen. Yeah. Are you a queen? Having a fight in a pub. I'll give you a go away. Thank you. Um, <laughs> would, I be, would I be close with cock? <laughs> I'm sorry, I missed. Uh, <laughs> Turkey? Uh, no, more <laughs> wetter than that. All right. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> I just like it so much, I want him to carry on doing it. Yes, just... okay. Water skiing? <laughs> Balancing on a raft. <laughs> what was that about tunnel before? So, what's he on top of? He's balancing on something. On a... <laughs> on a train. <laughs> a train, that's it. Well done, well done. Sorry. I'm terribly uh, stupid. Which... Oh, no, I just love this. I'm... Do help me some of this wondering. Which proper aquatic children's oh, character so is this? Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> so sweet. So sweet. It's lovely, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> is this a Teletubby again? No. <laughs> Oh, well done. Brian guessed who he was. Well done, Brian. <laughs> Colin is very good at doing dinosaurs. Better than, say, you. So... <laughs> you know, I could sit in the chair and smart off, and you could get your butt up here and work. <laughs> you gotta get a better agent. <laughs> oh, I can hold this door closed as long as you have kids. 
<laughs> what, but what I you... won't. What are you hoping to do? Wear my finger out? I've got long years of practice with that finger. And so <laughs> <laughs> Oh, good God. Uh, part of me was glad that ended because my cheeks are really, really aching from smiling and laughing. Uh, oh, that was brilliant. In reality, I'm actually a bit gutted that it ended where it did. Uh, I went to see the end of that sketch. All the gang, as brilliant as ever. Uh, Ryan Stiles, Colin Mockery, like Greg Proops, and, uh, and even Clive Anderson was also a legend when he was on there as well with his amazing scoring that he'd give at the end of a game. I'm definitely going to react to the US version as well um, for some more guaranteed laughs. But I give this video 5 billion out of 10. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it, drop a comment below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. And I'll see you next time.